Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce in front of the Great Pyramid of Khufu that Egypt recovery has to go all over the world. Because for the first time, a great discovery found inside the Great Pyramid of Khufu, the most important pyramid in the whole kingdom. And this is why this press conference was made to tell the world also that technology can reveal lots of secrets. And today, major important secrets have been revealed by technology for the first time. The discovery of a nine meters tunnel and two meters and 10 centimeters wide found behind the main entrance of the Great Pyramid. And this discovery will reveal to us many important facts about Khufu and his pyramid. Because most of Khufu's pyramid was completely destructed. And uh, all his pyramid complex, Causeway and Hillary Temple and, and Valley Temple has been destroyed completely for reasons we cannot say about it now. But Khufu pyramid in Dynasty 4, the state of a stone. We have nine pyramids of kings. We have about 14 pyramids of queens. Actually, maybe more than 6 million stones was moved during Dynasty 4. The Great Pyramid of Khufu is the only pyramid that has the are the only two kings in the old kingdom that the burial chamber is inside. The first chamber, two meters high in the west, and in the east, there is a kind of a hole. Why this hole existed on the east, we really do not know. Now, Khufu Pyramid also is the only pyramid in the old kingdom that has a so-called air shafts. And the shafts were not for air. When I did insert a robot in the Great Pyramid, were interblocked like this. Means when the Arab came to Egypt, and they said, man fears time, and time fears pyramids because of the way that this pyramid was constructed. Also, down the second, Texas in 1872, were looking on the floor, on the wall, and he heard there is a hollow, and he began to open. He came to the, the wrong direction, and he opened in the side. That can prove 100% that this was closed to hide something important that Kufu left. And when we sent the robot in the northern tunnel, the robot went for about 8 meters and was building. And that German robot did not bend. But when we sent the robot on the south one, it stopped in front of a door with two cover handles. The second robot went, opened one hole, one centimeter and one millimeter. We sent an optic camera at 21 centimeter. We did not find the door or a stone. We found something from mud brick, hiding something. We call it an Arabic setter. This setter proves there is something behind that setter. We went to the other tunnel, and the robot would go north and south to avoid the Grand Gallery, and the same distance to the first one found a third door. Then the pyramid has many interesting things to be discovered. Dr. Harry Land of Cairo University and his team did very important work. I have to tell you frankly, I never believed that this equipment will discover anything. Because always the people who work in the pyramids, when they see a void, it's something important. No, if you know how this pyramid was constructed, it has lots of voids of how the pyramid was built. And this is why I believe that this discovery that happened today could be the most important discovery of the century. Because anything inside the Great Pyramid of Khufu, if I discover a hole, a stone, I have to salute who found it. And therefore, Egypt today will enter the houses and the hearts of people all over the world because of this discovery. The discovery of a tunnel nine meters long. And we found in, the, in this tunnel, we found an area that really, I have to say exactly what is the area. The area is on the other side of the shovel, on the floor. In the north, there is a square area. That square area, if you look at it, and it has, it doesn't have a stone like the other one. It shows that something could be underneath. It shows that this is something that we can see. And this is what Dr. Harry 
should look at it through a survey that we need them to continue the work to find out if we put a robot on that area, what could be underneath. If we say that this tunnel is protecting or is holding a stones above something, we cannot say it's a corridor at all. There's no way there is a corridor will be here because down in seven meters, there is another corridor. Between the seven meters and, and the tunnel that we found today, there is something important, in my opinion, can tell us for, for the first time that the variant of Kufu is still existed and this is what we could discover. And I, I, I'm sure, sure, in a few months from now, we can see if I'm saying it's correct or not. But again, we are in front of a major important discovery happened inside the Great Pyramid. And this discovery will enter houses and homes of people all over the world for the first time. And Egypt will be, the talk of the name of Egypt will be everywhere. And I have to say at the end, something very important. We have people everywhere still talking about aliens and people came out of the space. And even many people accuse me of hiding evidence about a lost civilization. Now, this discovery can tell them anything that we discover inside the pyramid, we announce it for the first time. And therefore, I would like to put a stone from the Great Pyramid in the mouth of anyone in any place on Earth who said that the pyramid built by lost civilization. Because we have the Wadi Jar Papaya that telling us for the first time how the pyramid was built. It's a diary of an inspector, Miller, who's telling us many things about Torah cutting stones, about Kufu later here. And therefore, finally, I have to thank the Scan Pyramid team that put Egypt name and the Ministry of Antiquities and Tourism everywhere. And therefore, I have to say, we are in front of a major important discovery that everyone has to decide that and see that this corridor inside the pyramid will lead to more revealing secrets of Kufu pyramid. And thank you. the chevron. Number two, the tunnel that was found is nine meters long and two meters and ten centimeters wide. At the northern end of that of that tunnel, we found an area that do not have a stone, but have something like stone rubble. And we believe there is something is hidden underneath this area. I do believe that this tunnel is revealing 
the heavy to the stones of something. As we saw in Maidun, as we saw inside the Great Pyramid, I do believe the area between the tunnel found and the descending corridor, it should be the real period. This is my opinion only. The real burial chamber of Kufu should be underneath that tunnel. Uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Hawass. Uh, very briefly, we identified the existence of a void, which does mean for us air by non destructive technique. And after that, in order to go in and, and see the corridor, we uh, found a joint behind the chevron in which we introduced what we call an endoscope. It is like the, the medical endoscope with a very high, powerful camera. And we, uh, uh, our engin clever engineers, uh, you know, designed very powerful light. And this is how we saw the uh, uh, corridor. And this endoscope, it has a, a, a camera and it has a zoom, etc. And this is what you have seen. Once again, I'm going to repeat what I did say a couple of minutes ago. This corridor, and we have several examples in Maidum, in Sahura, to distribute the weight or the pressure on something. So, once again, this corridor, which is nine meters long, with this uh, chevron ceiling, the main reason, from my point of view, to relieve the weight of something, and this is what all we do agree, and we have a life example, what we call it, the burial chamber of the King Kiosk, we have five rooms in the top of them, on the top of it. So, the main reason and the main edge of those five chambers to reduce, to relieve the weight on the pure chamber of the King Kiyos. So, it's another example of reducing or to distribute the weight or the pressure on something beneath it. It can be the main corridor or the main entrance of the pyramid, like what the power said, they are seven meters. So the new corridor is higher or 